I do not remember ever not being an artist. I'm Roberto Regalado, professional artist for 45 years. By trade, I am a muralist. Uh, I was 16 when I was hired by Marv Bream, uh, LA's finest muralist. And that's how I got started. Then he sent me to his former partner, Phil Santos, and I worked there for a while. And that's where I met Linda. Primarily we do murals. We haven't done any big, big projects in a couple of years. Uh, we've been doing more um, personal paintings. When you paint for a client, you paint exactly what they want you to paint. They're paying you for it. Um, when I paint on my next day off, there's two types of painting. One would be a real not labor intensive like this that could be painted in an afternoon or other times I'll, I'll, I'll paint something real mechanical like a tractor. Um, it, it's, it's just how much time do you really want to spend on that painting an afternoon or four, five, half days. I was born an artist. I do not remember ever not being an artist. Um, in El Salvador, I was like, what, five, six years old when the movie Grand Prix came out with James Gardner. I went home and I had a roll of butcher paper and I unrolled it on the floor and I drew from one end of the living room to the other a storyboard of that movie I just watched. So th there was not an event or an occasion that said, ooh, you should become an artist. I, I didn't you know, uh, uh, do anything else uh, since, since I started working doing murals. I used to design bathing suits, jet ski vests. I used to print hundreds of, of, of feet of wallpaper for casinos in Las Vegas, hand, print and hand paint on just yards of wallpaper for casinos. Um, I've, I've, I've done some photography that, that has been used by, by, by clients, but it, it's always revolved around some creative process where, where you have to stop and think about what you're doing to make it look better, more creative. It's, it's just what I've done. I I've, haven't done anything else but, but paint. I said it before, it, it's not brain surgery. The patient will not die. It's a painting. It's, it's a way to share with you something, but it's not necessarily the secret of life. <laughs> it's not, it's a painting, man. It's, but, but sometimes you have to think about the fact that in a painting, you only have the thickness of a coat of paint to tell your story. What, what is, you know, way far in the distance and what is near you that's in front of the frame of, of the painting. So it's always the thickness of a coat of paint and that's it. There's, there's no mystery, there's no revelations. It's, it's a painting. It's, it's, it's wonderful, it really is.